Hello everyone and welcome to Twin Flames Universe. I'm Daniel. I'm Christina. And we are True Twin Flames in Union. We're here to bring you this week's Twin Flame Union energy card reading. The deck we'll be using today is Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Hartfield. And we've already pre-shuffled the deck, so we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So the card at the bottom of the deck, which is the underlying energy of the whole reading, is Prosperity. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So Prosperity, when I think of Prosperity, I think of like not just, you know, abundant wealth, but really thriving in every aspect of life. Yeah, when I think of thriving, like when I think of Prosperity, the feeling that comes up the word that I feel is like movement. Yeah. It feels like a movement of energy, um, like a movement forward, mm -hmm. um, progress, prosperity. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I feel. Good. Yeah. So it's a wonderful energy to be stepping into mm -hmm. or for the underlying energy right now. All right. So the current energy of the Twin Flame Collective is acceptance. Card number 39. The theme of acceptance has been coming up a lot, actually, um, at least that I've seen um, in different places. Uh, acceptance, to me, what I feel is like embracing the fact that you are divine and being able to be present with what arises because you know that like nothing can take from your divinity. Mm hmm. Yeah, when I feel like in, in regards to like acceptance, yeah, it's like an acceptance of self, acceptance of divinity, and I feel um, like acceptance of your own innocence mm -hmm. is also what I feel here. Yeah. And just allowing yourself to be, allowing mm -hmm. yourself to be yourself, express yourself, um, no expectations, and right. just unconditional love. Right. And like as you expand in your self acceptance, unconditional self acceptance, you also deepen into confidence, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. So let's take a look at the current energy for the Divine Feminine Collective. Joy, card number 47. Mm -hmm. So this card is like in the position of the block or challenge. And so when we think about joy as like a challenge, it feels like a space where the Divine Feminine Collective is being invited to open up to more joy, embrace more joy, call in more joy into her life. Yeah. And, you know, you can cultivate more joy in your life by having a relationship with life. Right. Um, yeah. Being present with life, having a relationship with life. Also, you, of course, you also want to be going inward and doing mm -hmm. the mirror exercise and healing those places um, that don't feel joyous. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like um, when you're feeling, you know, Shalia says that like when you're feeling grief. Grief is your joy returning to you. Right. And so um, to make room for more joy, it's it's an invitation to um, release that which doesn't serve you, that which is standing in the way of your expansion. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's take a look. As um, the Divine Feminine Collective moves through this challenge, she steps into relaxation, card number 49. Yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, making the choice to release what doesn't serve you, um, you can relax into that expansiveness now. Right. And as you relax your energy, you um, make space to welcome in new energy. Yeah, you really make space for yourself and for mm -hmm. your good. And um, all of that is automatically attracted to you when you're working from a place of relaxation and peace. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the Divine Masculine Collective. Um, so the current challenge that he's working through is card number 17, Inner Knowing. Yeah, so what, is, what does this card mean to you? Um, immediately, the, the feeling that I get um, from my intuition is intuition. Mm -hmm. um, it's about following your inner guidance and that good feeling. Um, yeah, I feel like the Divine Masculine is learning about trust right mm -hmm. now and um trusting i i feel what i feel specifically coming up is that um trusting that he's a good and divine person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's really about connecting with his intuition in inwardly and um knowing that like intuition is a knowing mm -hmm. i feel like an inner knowing um and it's really connecting and knowing 
um, himself. Yeah. Yeah, and inner knowing, like, you, how do you deepen your, your relationship with your intuition? Um, well, you would, you would deepen your relationship with yourself, mm-hmm. right? You would use the mirror exercise um, to heal your consciousness, essentially. Right. And as you do that, you gain clarity about mm-hmm. yourself. And yeah. as you do that, you deepen your relationship with yourself and with God. Right. Like, yeah, like your inner knowing is really your connection with the divine. Mm-hmm. And so this feels like the divine masculine expanding into his connection with the divine in different ways. Right. And so as he moves through this challenge, he steps into blessings. Awesome. Card number 44. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice how the divine masculine and the divine feminine are mirroring each other. Um, like stepping into like relaxation and blessings right and how we said before like the divine feminine is relaxing and allowing her good to be attracted to her Mm -hmm. it's the same with this um this is like attracting blessings it feels like a very rich card Mm -hmm. like very rich energy um yeah like the divine masculine is also learning how to receive all of his good right yeah and you know even just like deepening in your relationship with God expands the blessings in your life, right? Like that is in itself is a blessing mm-hmm. um, to be able to feel those deeper levels of peace and to feel um, just expansiveness in your heart. Like that in itself is a blessing and that magnetizes more blessings to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. All right. And so the concluding energy for this reading is priorities card number 30 Mm. feels like an abrupt change of direction but it's not (laughs) yeah i feel like um based on what we've seen with the divine feminine and divine masculine priorities it's really about making yourself first Mm -hmm. making yourself number one in your life the relationship with yourself with god um yeah the relationship with yourself is also loving god right loving yourself as jeff says loving yourself is loving god Mm -hmm. and it's really about um Setting yourself as the priority, setting your love, loving yourself as the priority. Right. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, that can trickle down to many aspects of your life, right? Like feeling into like, what are my priorities right now? You know, like at different times in your life, your priorities, you know, in terms of the facets of your life might shift because you're in a healing season or there's other things that are coming into play right now. Um, it's mm-hmm. important to always like tune into the energy of your life and feel into what's most important. Yes. Um, in yeah. terms of the things that you have going on, mm-hmm. right? And that's a big part of honoring yourself mm-hmm. and like prioritizing yourself is like keeping a pulse on the energy of um, your surroundings, your environment, your life. Yeah, it's like yeah. feeling into, like being aware and feeling into what's appropriate for you at that time. Mm-hmm. Um, just because you like to do this exact thing every Thursday at 2 p.m. doesn't mean that it's always appropriate at that time. Um, if you listen to your heart and your heart's asking for something else in that moment, that's just an example. But yeah, it's about um, listening to what's a priority at that time. Right, yeah, and it's about really when you do that, you're making God a priority because God is the one who tells you what you should be working on, right? Like what you should be doing. And so as you really choose to listen to that and really choose to be present with um, where your heart is calling you, then you can allow your energy to move in whichever direction that feels the best. Right. And why is this important for your twin flame union? Um, You know, like, your twin flame is going to choose the same as you. Mm -hmm. And so if you're choosing to be where God directs, your twin flame is going to make that same choice. That's right. If you're choosing to put your energy into other things um, besides where it needs to go, um, that's going to be reflected in your union as well. And that's leaking energy that could go into your union. Exactly. Yeah. Good. And so, yeah, like, when you give or where you give your energy always gives back to you if it's if it's where god calls yes. for your energy to go yeah good cool all right well we hope you enjoyed this week's twin flame union energy card reading 
Um, once again, we are Daniel and Christina, and we are Ascension Coaches. If you're interested in working with us, check out the links below. As always, like and subscribe this channel if you want um, future content, awesome content in the future. And thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Take care.